Have you ever wondered how a motorcycle is made? Let's find out in this video. The first stage of the motorcycle production is the design. The sketch is made by hand by a professional designer. The sketch is then transferred to a designing software. The renders from the software gives a glimpse of what the bike is going to look like in various color combinations. After consulting with the designing lead or designing head, a 3D model is made out of clay. Furthermore, talented sculptors are used to improve the design and make it really close to the actual dimensions given by the design team. Once the model is approved, it's time for production. Raw materials as well as parts and components arrive at the manufacturing plant on a daily basis. As part of the just-in-time delivery system, the materials and parts are delivered at the place where they're used or installed. The engine and gearbox are manufactured separately and assembled at the production facility. The gearbox and crankcase are made of aluminum, as they're strong and lightweight, while the engine cylinder is made out of cast iron to withstand the high pressure and temperatures. The piston head, however, is made of aluminum alloy for its light weight, but again, these can vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. The clutch, bearings, and pistons are assembled one by one and with great care by highly experienced technicians. After carefully assembling all the components inside the engine, the cylinder head is placed and tightened to the engine. Another equally important part of a bike is its frame. The frame is made out of tubular metal or hollow metal shells fashioned from sheet metal. Each and every gap in the frame is made with high precision to incorporate all the other parts of the bike. Various sections are made separately and are at the end welded together in a computer controlled fabrication process. All the components are fitted to this frame, starting from the engine to the wheels. The wiring kit is the one that goes first because it sits deep inside the motorcycle with a very limited exposure outside. The engine and gearbox also come along, to which other components are installed one by one. Now the bike is starting to take shape. As it moves along the production line, the various components are fitted by the technicians. The rear wheel already has the swing arm, chain, and outer sprockets fixed to it before it's attached to the frame. The monoshock, however, is attached on the frame first. After the lights are mounted on the frame, the couples are connected and carefully tucked inside the frame to avoid any exposure. Exposing the wiring kit can affect the electrical circuits of the bike and can damage the wiring. Now the front suspension kit is attached along with the wheel. The concept and bearing are then fixed to the motorbike. Once the wheels are attached, the bike is moved on a conveyor on the ground, which then moves through the plant through various assembly lines. The headlamp unit and the fairings come next. These are one of the most outer parts of the motorcycle and is fixed with the help of screws or retainers. Before placing the fairings, the bike undergoes a quality inspection to check if all of the parts are in place and secured. The fairings are smaller components and are made separately and painted. This is a process of its own, but not as complex as painting of a car. At the end of the assembly line, the motorcycle undergoes a strict quality control process. Quality control inspectors undertake a visual inspection of the motorcycle's painted finish and fit of parts. All of the bikes are tested separately and one by one. 
During the test, a report is made simultaneously detailing the tests and the observations. Here, electrical tests are done. The lights, horn, and the digital instrument gauge are checked if they're working as per the requirement. The tank is prepared for dyno test by filling it with fuel. After a series of quality checks, the bike is started for the first time. As the motorcycle comes into life, it's driven on a dynamometer. Inspectors accelerate the motorcycle from 0 to 60 miles per hour. During the test, the acceleration and braking, exhaust emissions, wheel alignment, etc. are checked. It's then tested on a short track where the suspension and brakes are tested before being handed over to the logistics. Let us know which manufacturing process you liked the most in the comments below.